according to Council Member Steve Kozacik, 200 migrants arrived in Tucson yesterday, and KGA 9 went inside one of the shelters processing those migrants. Not on your side, Sierra Encina spoke with organizers who were calling for more volunteers. Behind the operation of Casalitas, you'll find groups of volunteers. Joni and Gary Jones are two. They've been volunteering at the shelter for a few years. It feels really good to contribute our grain of sand to uh, hopefully making, uh, making uh, uh, the United States a better place. Gary's job as a volunteer is to help asylum seekers plan the rest of their journey in the United States. He says many stay in Tucson for just two to three days. I worked in, in systematizing the uh, process of, of uh, find, connecting people to their sponsors, scheduling their travel, and I helped organize that system, which, is, which they've done a fantastic job. It's now all on Google Sheets. And Joni's job? Pre-pandemic, -pa pre I was a, a lead in the kitchen. I prepare um, food remotely and bring whatever is needed until I have my second vaccination. Besides logistics and food prep, volunteers are asked to help with laundry. Katie Hirschbeck started volunteering two years ago. Prepare clean blankets, towels and sheets for them to sleep in. We put the, together these uh, mesh bags for each guest to have when they're coming in. Hirschbeck says the experience is rewarding, although she doesn't come in direct contact with asylum seekers. She says she feels safe in the shelter with the COVID-19 protocols in place, and Casa Alitas is encouraging volunteers to get vaccinated as soon as they're able to meet guidelines. Sierra Encinas, Kagan 9 on your side.